Hi everyone, and thanks for visiting this GoFundMe page that we've set up for our dear old friend, Charlie Lawson. As some of you may know from previous messages that I've sent, um, I'll cut to the chase, Charlie is in trouble. Charlie suffered a stroke and a heart attack um, a while ago, and um, he's in pretty bad shape. We were notified about Charlie's condition from an old girlfriend of his named Karen Baker, who's a terrific lady. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to tell you about my friend Charles. You know, I met Charles in the financial district. Uh, we were both in finance uh, quite some years ago. We didn't work for the same company, but we were in the same building and I met him in the cafeteria. Uh, we spoke, we exchanged numbers, and he noticed that he hadn't seen me in a while. So he called me up, and it turned out at that time that I had major surgery. And he asked me, well, he knew I had a boyfriend at the time, and he asked me, well, where's your boyfriend? And I said, he left me two days before my surgery. He didn't say another word. All he said was that I will be there. I'm gonna come see you. He came to my house that evening with the most beautiful roses that I have ever received to this day. At the time he was living in Brooklyn. So he walked, he took two trains and he walked the remainder of the way to come see me. He came, we spoke for a while. I couldn't believe he was actually at my door and he told me that he would be back. And I said, no, I said, you know, I, you, you've already done too much. He didn't hesitate. The following day, he came to my house with an overnight bag and he took care of me for the next two to three months until I had fully recovered. So I just wanted to share with you just the type of person that Charles Lawson is. He is amazing. And there is just nothing in the world that I wouldn't do for him. But I just wanted you to know just how special this person is. Needless to say, when we were contacted by Karen, uh, we, meaning primarily Rob Abuso and myself, uh, we just felt compelled to try to help Charlie in any way that we can. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, backtrack, I went to school with Charlie 40 years ago at St. Clair's in Rosedale. Uh, I remember meeting Charlie, he was a transfer student. We, he got there in the sixth grade. My brother Sal and I became fast friends with him because even at that age, he was dynamic. He, 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 was, he was a great, great kid. We were all kids. We were, I don't know, uh, 11, 12, what are you in the sixth grade, seventh grade? Um, <clears throat> and then the teacher made the announcement back then that, that, that one of Charlie's parents died. And I can't recall 40 years later which parent died first, the mother or the father. But then the unthinkable happened. Three months later, we got another announcement from the teacher indicating Charlie's other parent had died. And I couldn't, I was in disbelief. Uh, then I think <laughs> Charlie's grandmother died. And then fast forward 40 years later, I get, a, I get an email from this woman professing to be Charlie's first uh, girlfriend. And here we are. Um, sorry it's long-winded, but that's how this all came to be. For some of you, what you just heard is no surprise, uh, equally as heartbreaking. So when Karen told us what had happened to Charlie, um, we decided we wanted to not just help, but enlist the help of so many of uh, Charlie's old friends, yourselves included. When we first told some of you about this, we got a, a, a bunch of videos of people just wishing Charlie well and, and delivering those to us so that we in turn can share those with Charlie when we saw him and, and we just saw him again yesterday. Messages like these have made all the difference in the world for Charlie, but we need to do more. We've set up this GoFundMe page so that Charlie can take care of some basic needs. Charlie needs, like all of us, to feel as much independence as he can. And right now, his independence is kind of lacking. Based on his stroke, Charlie has got some cognitive issues. Uh, if you've spoken with him, and a couple of you have, when you speak with him, you think everything is just fine, but things are not just fine. Things are bad. 
Charlie's lost uh, some of his faculties. He's lost some of his cognitive capacity. He has lost some control over his temperament. He's lost control over some of his own physical functions. Um, <clears throat> so while Charlie is not helpless, he's getting stronger every day. He's able to get up and walk around. Um, but the truth remains that Charlie is confined to an assisted living facility in New Jersey. And um, honestly, he's gonna be there for the foreseeable future, if not for the rest of his life. He's all alone. He needs his friends. He needs his friends for a few different things. He needs to buy clothes. Uh, he, he can't afford a cell phone. He can't afford a, a computer. Uh, basic personal hygiene products, things that we literally take for granted every day. Uh, we're very fortunate that his most significant expenses are met. Um, the, the, the facility that he's living in is, is being um, supplemented by uh, Medicaid. His medical care, his therapy, things along those lines. Uh, but Charlie could use some independence and we can help him get some of that. What he also needs is a friend. Actually, he needs a lot of friends. These messages that we've sent him, uh, these well wishes are all great. Um, we, we can and we must do more. So let's take a moment here and just discuss what we're really asking of you. If you ever were a friend of Charlie Lawson, I'm gonna impose on you. Right now we're, we're embarking on a season of giving, a season of thanks and a season of hope. And uh, Charlie Lawson could certainly use a little of all of those. Uh, he needs something to be grateful for and he needs some hope. Some of that comes in the form of money. We're not raising a million dollars for Charlie. I, do I, I hope we get a million dollars for him because if anybody in the world deserves it, he does. <clears throat> but we're not asking for it and we're not expecting that. What I am asking is, if you ever were a friend to Charlie Lawson, here on this page, give $10. I, I, and I make up that number. No, no gift is too small or too large. $10 just seems like that kind of number that's not gonna really make a difference in any of our lives, but I can tell you as those little chunks of $10 come trickling in, uh, it can add up to something significant. And it's going to make a very, very big difference in the life of our friend, Charlie. The second thing that I'll ask you is that you share this page with people that you know are similar of mind and similar of heart who might consider even just giving a dollar to this incredibly worthy cause in our friend Charlie. Again, no one is gonna miss a dollar, but I know it's also an imposition to ask. But if you had spent the past month in conversations with Charlie, sitting with him um, and seeing just what a huge difference these little things make. Uh, a dollar multiplied by the amount of folks in our collective network is going to make a substantial difference in this guy's life, and he deserves it. The last thing that I'm gonna ask is to be his friend. Now, some of you didn't know Charlie that well, and so you wanna just put together a quick video. We'll always bring those to Charlie, but what we're gonna to start to do is once a week, um, we're going to lift his spirits. Uh, hopefully it'll be with either Rob Abuso, Karen Baker, or myself live with him there. But once we get him set up with a cell phone and a computer, we're going to arrange Zoom calls, little mini online high school reunions, which probably would do us all a little bit of good given the crazy shitstorm that we've all been through for the past two years. But with the, given how many of us there are, uh, it doesn't take more than four or five, six of us at a time to lift this guy's spirits. And his spirits really do need lifting. Um, just seeing his demeanor change from when we got there yesterday to when we left uh, did me some good, uh, not to sound selfish. But uh, Charlie, when, when you sit with him, you think he's fine and he's just not. Um, it, it breaks my heart to see this incredibly uh, virile, uh, imposing presence that Charlie always was uh, reduced to somebody who needs help with sometimes even the most basic fundamental functions. Um, 
I'm sure Charlie has some embarrassment about his situation. You'd never know it if you talk to him. So please, I beg you, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, please join Karen, Rob, and myself in just doing what you can. Like I said, there are three asks here. 10 bucks, if you can, would mean the world to us and to Charlie. Spread the word and ask your friends, family, social groups, if, if they trust you that this is a good person who needs some help, give us a dollar. <laughs> give us a dollar that we can put towards Jesus. I mean, toothpaste, deodorant, socks, clothing, all these fundamentally basic needs. And the third thing, and arguably the most important thing is, um, if you can find it in your heart to spare a couple of moments, um, we'll try to figure out schedules with everybody. There's a comment section here. You can communicate with us regularly here. You can hit me up on Facebook. I've, I've started a, a group chat with some of the old St. Agnes crew. But um, as we're staring down the barrel of what is going to be the most wonderful time of the year, to quote the song, um, I can't help but think, and I'm not doing this to provide a guilt complex, but this week when we're all carving turkey and sitting with our friends and our families and sharing real gratitude, Charlie's going to be alone. And when we um, get together with our families at Christmas, Charlie's going to be alone. I, I, that's just truly heartbreaking for me, and I'm sure it is for you too. So uh, I don't want to make this any longer than it has to be. Um, I implore you truly from the bottom of my heart to please do what you can. If you have questions, call me on my cell phone, send me messages on Facebook, communicate with us here, but please do what you can. We have three small favors yet large impositions to put upon you during this holiday season. Please help us make Charlie's life as good as it can be. If you've ever met the guy a day in your life, you know that he deserves it more than most people do. Thanks again, and please do what you can for us.